one cool thing about Joey's solo here, it looks like Siobhan did some electric violin over it. So rad. We when when Siobhan um, came, it was one of the, for this this time. She 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 used to fly from Miami to Boston, and we were always behind the ball. But this time, like I think we got ahead, and we we're like, what do we do? Let's see if uh, the crazy virtuoso that is Siobhan can like write harmonies to these people in real time. She pulled out her electric violin. We put her through the Kemper, which I we I think I had just gotten it, and. Uh, she came in and she like doubled some of these solos or added these harmonies like just off the top of her head like in yeah. five minutes. Yeah, it made a huge difference too. And that was that was when we first realized like oh this is gonna be cool like taking that that side of the violin the electric through the distorted like almost like having her as another guitar player but with just a slightly different like um, sound and it, tone. To, to it's blend. funny because until you played that I didn't realize it wasn't Joey. <laughs> I thought that that was just Joey doing a harmony with himself. Wouldn't surprise me, but no, oh, all mean, the credit yeah. to Siobhan. Um, cool. So then we get this kind of breakdown section that comes up. Me shining on the piano. Jimmy Bell. So the funny part is that we actually extended that part twice as long, specifically so we could have Jimmy do his thing there because, um, you know, I may be a little full of myself, but I actually don't give myself a whole lot of room to do anything piano on the record. So this is one of the few songs where I kind of just like let loose on the piano. And, you know, Jimmy was sitting there in the studio going, oh, dude, and I heard him playing something like this. And I remember looking at Corey and saying, hey, man, can we just uh, can we just extend that section? Let's put Jimmy over it. And Jimmy just pulls this craziness out of his ass. If you don't know who Jimmy Bell is, he now plays for a band called Autograph, Turn Up the Radio. Um, that guy, he's... He's like something else, man. And he, he he's like Richie Blackmore if you put him on steroids and made him play faster and crazier. Yeah, and working with Jimmy is a blast because he's the man. He's like the nicest guy He's on the, the nicest person on the planet. And he's an, another example of like, you know, he lays down, he's just got licks for days. But if we're like, hey, what if we did like a harmony thing here? He's happy to like just absolutely start stacking things and he's got a million ideas he can start throwing around and uh, it's another chance to play through someone else's fingers who's way, way better than we are. And it's funny too because no matter how much he kicks ass, every time Jimmy leaves the studio he'll call me on the way home and go, Benny, did you, did you get everything that you need? Are you sure we got everything we need? Like meanwhile, like we don't even know what take. Like I think I was going through the Murder of Crows um, footage. I don't know if you know that song, but like it's one of the greatest Jimmy Bell solos where he just goes bananas. And he does like 10 takes of it all the way through on camera. And like every take could have just been the take. Like he's just, he's a disgusting animal and I hate him. You have just this DI track, you should just play his clean DI track because it's so disgusting how ridiculous he sounds. So like, sometimes we, we'll reamp stuff and if you just hear just the playing, like it has no distortion, no sustain, nothing, and it's just like Jimmy just attacks the guitar. Like he literally is Al Di <laughs> He's stupid. 
I don't mean he's actually stupid. I love Jimmy. I, he's just, he's so incredible. It melts my mind. Like he, yeah. like it's basically every time I see him on my Facebook feed, I'm like, enough. Enough, yeah. man. You, I know. You're, you're, you're really, I, I wish I did that. Yep. And then he's there setting up the one and only. And this is actually cool because this is Ollie. The next part is that same section. So me playing the same arpeggios on the piano, but now with Ollie and Siobhan. So this was kind of an emotional moment because when this came together, Ollie had passed. And we were like, holy crap, this was like our moment to play together. keyboards or something without all the extra stuff because the bass on that is insane that's actually some of your coolest bass playing thank you i mean i don't really say cool and bass playing in the same <laughs> sentence often but that's not many people do no So that, yeah. that piano part is, is a thing I've been working on since high school. So I know it sounds like it's like a rip off from Ingve or something, but I literally, I spent years trying to write this crazy arpeggio. So, you know, if you're a pianist, you could probably relate to this. Like you sit and you like work on stuff for sometimes years before it comes out. I have been writing this probably since freshman year of high school, this arpeggio, and it came out in this song. One of my favorite things to play still to this day. If you book me for your wedding, I'll play it. <laughs> uh, and then coming in right that, on that section, we have another Joey uh, solo. Joey is, Concepcion. Always a treat. So this is this is Ollie again coming in here to the one of the wonkiest wacky things we've ever <laughs> recorded. Yeah, I mean I love Ollie because just from a mile away you can tell it's him. I mean he he just sounds like if Beethoven was staying up all night drinking coffee, and you're like oh, I think I have an idea, but he's like a little bit crazy by the morning. That's Ollie on guitar. Yeah, so listen to this next part come in. It's really cool. Before we get on past that, though, there's one thing. I, want, I think this is uh, you and I in your like laundry room banging on your boiler or something. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yep, we were definitely like banging on one of my one of my water yeah. lines in my studio. And we're just just to get like that. I pictured um, what's that that piece that's like down 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 they're like hitting like an anvil it's like some like old school like looney tunes like symphonic childhood memory but like i always is that benny goodman i feel like it could actually be benny goodman i don't know it's a the benny goodman orchestra could be 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it's not because I have no idea what it actually is. But if someone knows what that is in the comments, please. But it's got like that big like kind of anvil slamming sound, and I thought that that would be really cool. And then we're like, we don't have an anvil, so let's go beat the like, shit yeah, out of your utility room. We only have 112 tracks, so why don't we just <laughs> fucking cluster fuck this thing more? Uh, so that's a cool part. Yeah.